For this Velma moving mistake, when Daphne flies and hits the locker in the clip up top, we can see that she has a shower cap on. But then, after she hits the locker, the shower cap vanishes. And I think, okay, maybe it just fell behind her head. But if we can see from the clip on the bottom, she doesn't have a shower cap. It's not on the ground. It's not behind her. And there was one more clip I didn't include where we can clearly see behind her. But yeah, shower cap vanishes. Move mistakes. One, Velma, zero. So for this mistake, we can see that Daphne is in the locker room changing and there's no one else in there. If you focus your attention to the clip on the top, we can see that there's a towel hanging from one of the lockers. But in the clip on the bottom, we can see that the towel is now missing. Where the towel went, I really don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but seems like animators didn't feel like mm, we should put the towel back in the scene. For this mistake, um, this part of the show is every boy's dream, but we'll focus our attention to the clip on the top and we can see that the girls behind Daphne are kind of huddled together. But if we focus our attention to them now in the clip on the bottom, we can see that they are now separate. Two of the girls are hugging each other. Like the clip on the top, we can see that the black girl, the really dark one, she's in the very back. But when the camera switches angle, she is now hugging the blonde girl out of nowhere. And what's also kind of odd is that none, like the girl, the blonde girl up top, she has brunette hair, but in the clip on the bottom, her hair is blonde. For this Velma mistake, we can see that she's in the kitchen slash like dining room area with her father. Focus your attention to the clip on the top, the microwave. There is nothing on top of the microwave, but when the camera switches angles back and forth, and Velma's bending down, and we can now see that there's like a Mexican food container or Chinese food container on top of the microwave where there wasn't one there before. Although the show did not get good reviews, I actually kind of enjoy it. Um, there's some things I don't agree with it, but eh, it's not a bad show. Not a bad show. So for this Velma goof, Velma's stepmom takes a seat at the dinner table or dining room table, whatever you want to call it. And you notice that she puts her phone down on top of the doily. Notice the position of the phone as she gets up and the clip on the bottom. We can see that the phone has now changed positions where she didn't touch it the whole entire time during this clip. I know what you're going to say. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's a goof nonetheless. So for this mistake, Velma skips out of work and she bumps into Fred in the alley. But focus your attention to the clip on the top. We can see that there is a can sitting almost directly in front of the garbage can. But when Velma runs into Fred, she drops her glasses, but where's the can? Yes, I know it's not a huge deal, but the can missing is, it's, it's a mistake nonetheless. So we're calling it out. What do you guys think? In this scene in the show, Velma, focus your attention to the clip on the top. Velma is having sort of like a panic attack. She's having visions, but notice that there's nothing on the ground next to her. But focus your attention to the clip on the bottom. We can see that her glasses appear out of nowhere. And I know you're probably thinking maybe her stepmom brought the glasses over to her, the woman that's pregnant on the bottom, but nope, that didn't happen. I watched the show. Her glasses appeared out of nowhere. In this scene, Fred gets shot in the leg by detectives because they think he's trying to kill Velma. Focus your attention to the clip on the top. Notice that the picture fits perfectly within the frame on the wall. But if you focus your attention to the clip on the bottom, you can see that the picture um, is the same, but the wall behind it has widened for some reason. Really don't know or don't have any idea why the animators would think to widen that wall. Um, I would think it would be a whole lot easier to just have the picture fit perfectly, but it's a goof nonetheless. Subscribe today.